Hello everyone, welcome back to Oyo Tech Made Easy. Today we are going to be taking on questions on camps and I have here with me a question that says draw the profile of a plate cam rotating clockwise which gives an 18 mm diameter offset roller follower the following motion 0 degrees to 120 degrees lifts of 24 millimeters with uniform acceleration and retardation then we have a dwell from one eight, from 120 degrees to 180 degrees then another lift of 12 meter, millimeters from 180 degrees to 240 degrees with uniform velocity and finally a fall from 240 degrees to 360 degrees of 36 millimeters with simple harmonic motion the minimum distance from the cam center to the roller center is 50 millimeters the cam shaft's diameter is 20 millimeters and the line of action of the follower is offset 24 millimeters to the right of the vertical center line of the cam now for the purpose of urgency of this assignment we are only going to be treating the assignment question from pickup and packer um, in our next video we'll be explaining cams and tracing follower movements along different type of cams now for the first step in this assignment i'm going to be drawing a few circles as one for the cam shaft diameter which is 20 millimeters as given in the question i'm also going to be drawing a circle of 50 millimeters in radius to show the distance from the camshaft diameter to the center of the offset roller so now i have my circles the camshaft diameter of 20 millimeters i also have a circle of 50 millimeters radius that shows the distance from the cam center to the roller center on the middle circle here it's from the question we are told that the follower is offset 24 millimeters to the right of the vertical center line of the cam so i made a circle of radius 24 millimeters that i'm going to project lines from here upwards to show my offset roller offsets at 24 millimeters to the right of the vertical center line of the cam okay now from our question we were told we have an offset roller of 18 millimeters in diameter i'm going to be drawing that offset roller here to show that the distance between the center of the offset roller and the center of the cam itself is 50 millimeters i'm also going to be drawing a circle 86 millimeters in diameter that has to show the maximum lift the cam follower has so i'm going to be drawing that here and i'm going to be projecting lines from my 50 millimeter circle and my 86 millimeter circle to draw my displacement graph <music> As you can see now, I have drawn my surface displacement graph and you can see the height is 36 millimeters. That's the height of the total lift of my follower. And the length, according to what we are given, we are asked to use the camshaft circumference as the length of our displacement graph. So that is what I have here. Also note that you have to divide that length into 12 places. So whatever your camshaft diameter Sorry, your camshaft circumference is you have to divide into 12 places and label each of those divisions from 0 degrees to 360 degrees so you are going to be having 0 degrees 30 60 all the way to 360 degrees and the next thing i'm going to be doing is also to divide my circle here into 12 places using my 60 degree and my 30 degree set square and i'm going to be drawing tangent lines to touch each of these to show the offsets that we are given so i've divided my circle into 12 equal places using my 30 degree 60 degree set square the next thing i'm going to be doing is to draw tangent lines on each of the division to touch my outer circle here so that's the next thing i'm going to be doing <laughs>
Okay, so now I have divided my circle here into 12 places using my 30 degree, 60 degree set square. And as you can see, I've drawn tangents to each of those divisions, tangent at 90 degrees to each of them all over the divisions and i'm going to be labeling each of those divisions as i have done here on my displacement graph now it's important to note that if the camshaft is going clockwise then our follower is going to be moving anti-clockwise so in this case now in our question our camshaft is moving clockwise so i'm going to label our follower movement like the cam profile anti-clockwisely so this is going to be my zero degrees and this is 30 degrees 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120, 150 degrees, 180 degrees, 210 degrees, 240 degrees, 270 degrees, 300 and 300 degrees rather, 330 degrees. So that's all. Now I'm going to be drawing the follower movement on my displacement graph so now to draw my displacement graph on this place now I have to take note of the first movement as given in the question we are told that our follower move from 0 to 120 degrees with uniform acceleration or retardation so we are going to be drawing that now using the method for uniform acceleration and retardation so that means I'm also take note that the height of the lift is 24 millimeters, not up to 36, it's 24 millimeters. As I have this marker here, this is 24 millimeters down to the base here. So to draw that uniform acceleration or retardation, I'm going to be dividing from 24 millimeters into four places as I have here on this division from 0 to 120 degrees. So doing that now, 24 divided by 4 places, that's 6 millimeters. So I'm going to have 6 millimeter marks on this particular division. Now that I have divided the section for our uniform acceleration and retardation into 4 places, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to draw lines connecting to each division from my zero degree point and from my 120 degree point downwards. So it's going to be something like this from zero. I'm going to have a line, a very faint line, mind you, and possibly dashed too. Here, I'm also going to draw from zero to the midpoint here. Then I have from my 120 to connect to the midpoint. And I also have from my 120 to connect to the top okay so like i said earlier from the zero degrees you take it up to the first division here and also to the second division and from your 120 degrees you take it up to the last division here and back to the second division so now to draw our uniform acceleration or retardation curve we are going to mark the points that our dashed lines make with the 30 degree the 60 degree and the 90 degree lines so as i'm going to be picking this point i'm going to be picking this point i'm also going to be picking this point and finally this point so my curve must touch all these points up to this place so now i have produced my curve for the uniform acceleration and retardation the next thing to do is to draw my dual which from the question is from 120 degrees to 180 degrees the dual is just going to be a straight line connecting both angles together and doing that i'm going to have something like this an error there extending past 180 so that's it for my dual the next part of the question is a lift another lift from 180 degrees to 240 degrees and this lift is of uniform velocity so for that i'm just going to have a straight line connecting the base here to the top at 240 degrees So that's my uniform velocity lift. 
Now the third part, which is another tricky part, is to draw a fall directly from the top here at 36 millimeters to the bottom using a simple harmonic motion movement. Now for that, I have to draw a semicircle and divide it into four equal parts using my 45 degree set square. And I'm dividing it into four equal parts because I have four divisions here from 240 degrees to 360 degrees. So for my semicircle, it's going to be of a radius of 18 millimeters from the center because the height of this is 36 millimeters. So I have drawn my semicircle and I have divided it into four equal angles, 45, 45, 45, 45 degrees. The next thing I'm going to do is project lines from each of the divisions in the semicircle to a point on my surface displacement graph. Um, I'm going to be joining this line to this point, 270 here. The midline is going to come to 300. This third division here is coming to 330 and the last one is already at 360 degrees. So to join those lines now. So each of those lines I have intersected here on my division are going to be the points for my SHM curve. So I have these points, I have these points, I have these points and I also have these points here. So I'm going to have my curve connecting all points together. Now that we have our displacement graph ready, we are going to be projecting the lines or the points on each of the divisions in this displacement graph into our cam profile here. So to do that, we are going to take the measurements of each of the divisions. For 30 degrees, we are going to take the length of 30 degrees here, which is this high, not very big. And we come to the line for 30 degrees and strike an arc on that line. Then we do the same for 60 degrees, which is at this point, down to this other point, and we come to the 60 degree line and strike an arc on it soon. Now we are going to do this for each of the divisions. For 90 degrees also we have this. We come to 90 degrees. And strike an arc. Note that once you are done striking arcs for each of the divisions, you are going to draw the offset ruler on each of those points. Um, so now that we have marked off points on each of the divisions as we have on our displacement graph here, I'm going to be drawing circles on each of those points 18 millimeters to show the movement of our offset ruler. And after drawing those circles, I'm going to draw a curve to join the circles at tangents. Now in drawing the circles, I'm using my circle templates for that. Now having drawn all the circles for the offset ruler, I'm going to be joining points on each of their tangents, drawing a curve around them to show the cam profile of the offset ruler. So I'm using my French curve for that. So now I have drawn the curve connecting all the offset rulers at their tangents. As you can see, they are all touching the offset rulers at a tangent. And mind you, it doesn't have to follow this line, it just has to touch the offset ruler at a tangent. So now for a quick recap, this is our camshaft of diameter 20 millimeters and this circle is produced from the 24 millimeter offsets to the right of the vertical line. Um, also know that our tangent line has to be faint. We only made it thicker here because of visibility. And this is the offset ruler. We are tracing the path of the follower along the camshaft. These are um, displacement graph. As you can see, we have a lift from 0 to 120 in uniform acceleration and retardation, a dwell from 120 to 180, then a uniform velocity lift from 180 to 240 degrees of 12 millimeters, and from there we have a simple harmonic motion downwards back to 0 at 360 degrees. So projecting points that are aligned mixed with the degree divisions or the angle divisions rather, we also produce them here on 
the corresponding angles on our circle here and using those points we use them as a center of the offset ruler so we can draw tangents to that ruler to show our follower cam profile thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you